Welcome back guys, this is JimmyJules153 with another Dreams Logic tutorial. In today's video we'll be covering the angle sensor. We'll just go ahead and open up the tweak menu here and you'll immediately see a graphical visualization of where the angle sensor will be looking. Like most of the logic in Dreams, you can grab the points and move them around by sight. If I move the sensing cone out of the way here, you'll see there's another grabbable bar which represents the direction that it'll be sensing the angle from. So I'll just go ahead and make a real quick cube here to put the angle sensor onto and we'll grab out the sensor again from the sensors and input section. And stamp it there. Now if we open up the tweak menu again, you'll see a few bars in here. The first being the angle range to detect slider. This will increase or decrease the range of detection, which you can see on the cube if I drag this up and down. The next slider is the angle range fall off. What this does is it outputs a percentage signal based on how far into the fall off zone the angle is, but you'll see this in just a minute. So if you watch the output on the angle sensor here, that's highlighted on the left, you'll see as the angle enters the detected zone, it'll slowly start to turn on, getting stronger as we get further into the fall off zone until we get all the way through it and into the detection area where it outputs a 100% signal. If we turn off the fall off zone completely and do the same thing, you'll see that the output doesn't slowly turn on, it instead jumps straight to the on position, outputting 100%. The zone fall off area works in exactly the same way with the trigger zones, except you've got the X, Y, and Z fall off zones individually configurable. Just to demonstrate what this is doing, we'll plug this into the color of the wall so it goes gray as it gets a signal. We'll turn off the fall off zone again and tilt the cube, and as we get into the fall off zone, it'll increase the signal to the wall and change the color. If we turn the fall off zone all the way down, it'll immediately send a 100% signal with no transition. You can also change the position of the detection point to wherever you like. So if we were to move the detection point over here and tilt the cube again, it will now only output a signal if the cube turns this way. That's it for today's video on the angle sensor. I hope you're all well and see you in the next one.